What are those mistakes to avoid when using XDR platforms? This is the question. Let's answer it. Hello and welcome back to our channel. It's Antonia from Handball Security and today we discuss some common mistakes companies make when implementing XDR. Although XDR platforms significantly outperform conventional tools and many EDR systems, these solutions are not infallible. Make sure you steer clear of the following mistakes to guarantee the success of your implementation. First of all, complexity of integration. XDR solutions must seamlessly integrate with your current solutions. Keep in mind that you will lose out on productivity improvements if the integration needs a lot of work or custom plugins. Additionally, you'll probably have to give up some of the control and visibility that make XDR superior to alternatives. Finding another platform is probably preferable if the one you want doesn't integrate well. Despite the fact that you won't get all the features of your ideal platform, saving yourself the trouble of having to maintain or develop an integration from scratch may be worth it. Similarly, when looking to integrate additional tooling with your XDR, prioritize those that are already compatible. In general, avoid apps, software, and services that need additional integration work because this is a debt you'll have to carry forward. Secondly, lack of adequate automation. The effectiveness of XDR is significantly influenced by automation. Security teams' workload is reduced as a result of the ability to automate tracking, alerts, and responses, allowing them to focus on more challenging tasks. However, in order to be effective, automation must go beyond just sandboxing processes or blocking all traffic. The XDR platform you pick should ideally have automation that adjusts to the state of current systems and reacts based on various parameters. For instance, recognizing when a device connects to your network and being able to either match it to a previous user profile or assign a temporary status to it. This can make it possible for you to keep a closer eye on unknown devices and limit potentially malicious access more rapidly. And thirdly, operational complexity. The purpose of XDR platforms is to make security and response teams' jobs easier. This extends beyond interfaces and dashboards to configuration and maintenance requirements. A solution's value drops if it is difficult to update or if settings cannot be quickly set or changed. Thanks for watching, guys! If you have any comments on this topic, please drop them in the comment section below and let's talk! Also, as always, if you enjoy this video and find it useful, make sure you help us out by liking it, sharing it, and subscribing to our channel. See you next week with another chapter of XDR.